Hello, and welcome back to the next episode of The Four Horsemen. My name is Paul, representing Diecast Graveyard. Obviously, the term The Four Horsemen, there are four of us in this group. Myself at Diecast Graveyard, you have Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, you have Jeff from 164 Revival, and you have Xavier from Diecast Show Customs. Together, the four of us form the group, The Four Horsemen. Now, every month we rotate out who is going to select the casting that we're going to use and the theme. Well, this month's theme is Oktoberfest, and this month's casting is a 62 GMC panel van, and this was my choice. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun with this build, and I did something a little bit different this time, and I think you're going to enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already drilled the casting apart, and this particular car only has one post in it or one rivet. The back end of the, of the panel van is held on by a little clip that you put the back end of the car into. Now, in the build, I will have the links to the other three builders' websites or YouTube sites so you can check out their builds. And make sure you please go to their sites also. Now, if you don't subscribe to their sites at YouTube, please do. If you're coming from one of the other sites that uh, you're not subscribed to me, please do. We do this every month. Now, what also is really cool is starting next month, we're going to start allowing folks to participate in our builds, like the three blind mice folks. Those guys are fantastic. Here we're taking the body and we're dipping it in the embalming fluid. And I'm going to get all the paint off this bad boy. Now I started putting my dipped cars on a tray so I can see when they're ready to be cleaned up. Get off that excess embalming fluid. Let's go ahead and get it on the tray, and we'll let that bad boy sit for a few hours. Now the citrus strip tends to work usually in about 20 minutes, but I like to let it sit a little bit longer to make sure that we get everything taken care of. And here's what it looks like after it sat for about two hours. Well, it definitely worked well. So let's go ahead and get that old paint off and get it ready for painting. Here I'm going to coat the car with this Tamiya surface primer. And this stuff is really good. Now I got a little bit of a special idea in mind for the finished results of the panel van. So it's going to be a lot of fun here, like I said. So we'll give the car a good coat of Tamiya primer. And we'll let that set for a while and dry thoroughly. Here's the car with the white primer. Now, this one here, what I'm out to prove with this build is that you don't have to be a really great painter in order to make something really nice. This car here, I'm going to do strictly with decals. So that's going to be really cool. So the theme, like I said, is Oktoberfest. And we're going to put some really cool decals on this car. Now, I designed the decals. I uh, got with my buddy Kenny Terry at KennyTerry.com. He is my go-to guy when it comes to doing my special decals. So if you need some really cool decals, you need to get a hold of Kenny Terry and he can help you out. Give him proper measurements of the vehicle that you have and he can definitely get to you what you need. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell in order to be alerted to any videos that come out. There we go. Oktoberfest. That looks awesome. That definitely looks awesome. Now we're going to put the German flag up on the roof and that'll look really cool. Now again, I, I sent Kenny all my dimensions for this vehicle and I'm going to cover that in a future video. And these are the, the measurements that you need in order to get the decals printed exactly the way you need them. 
and this will definitely help Kenny out when he's making your decals for you. So I let this soak in the water for about 10 seconds. I wet the roof to put that on. And now we're just gonna move them into position. Now it does take a while for them to dry up, so you wanna make sure that before you do any kind of clear coating or anything, that these uh, decals have sat for a while to dry thoroughly. You definitely don't wanna put clear coat over your decals that still might be a little bit wet or a little bit damp. That's looking really cool. Now we just need to squeegee out the rest of the water and smooth out the bubbles in the decal. I just use a Q-tip here and I smooth it out. And then later on, I'll come in with the Microsol and any residual decal that's folding over something like you see there in the front of the roof, I will rub the Microsol on top of that and make sure that it conforms around the front of the roof so it fits properly. That's looking really sweet. Now you gotta be careful with the Microsol because if you put too much on there, it will melt your decals and they will not look very good. So you gotta be careful with that. All right, let's put some more decals on. Here I'm putting on some micro set, and this will help the vehicle with the decals. It'll help them adhere better to the side of your vehicle. It'll also help it conform to any complex curves that you have, such as door handles, door jams, etc., gas tank covers. Here we go. Now the cross pattern here with the with the blue uh, diamonds. That is the colors for the Bavarian national flag. And this is where the Oktoberfest originates, is in Munich, Germany. Now again, Kenny Terry, my guy that does the decals. Water slide decals, www.kennyterry.com. He can take care of all your needs for your decals. He does fantastic work and he gets things out quickly. Beautiful, beautiful. Now you see the overlap there in the wheel wells. I'm gonna come back in a little, a little later after they dry with some scissors, and I'm gonna put a couple of slits in there, and then I'm gonna get in there with the Microsol, and it's gonna melt that decal up around the fender wells, and that's gonna make it look that much better. Man, that's looking sweet. Now, like I said, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I wanna show you that even though you might not have the ability to paint really good or, or you know, you just don't have that, that, that talent yet, but you gotta practice at it, you can still do a really cool custom vehicle with decals. And this car is gonna look fantastic. That looks great. Now we'll smooth that out. That's looking good. Man, that looks nice. Definitely looks sweet. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Decals are all dry. We got them all trimmed up in the wheel wells. We let that dry. Now we're gonna put on the clear coat. And the clear coat came from the Redline shop. And you can get clear coat there, all those beautiful Specter Flame paints at the Redline shop at www.redlineshop.com. Now put your clear coat on lightly because sometimes if you put it on too heavy, it will cause the decal to bleed. All right, so you gotta be careful with that. Put on mist coats and build it up gradually. Let it set for about 10 minutes after you put the mist coat on and then come back in and do it again. And do that as many times as necessary until you get that beautiful gloss finish that you're looking for. This is looking absolutely sweet. I am so happy with this build so far. Now I've been to Oktoberfest before, probably easily 10 times. I used to live in Germany when I was stationed in the military and when I was working overseas, whenever I took vacation, 
I would go to Germany and then I would have my wife fly over and meet me and we would go to Oktoberfest together. Several adult beverages later. <laughs> now this is awesome. Here's your body, all clear coated up. Look at those beautiful decals. The Bavarian theme, Oktoberfest on the side, Oktoberfest on the hood, and the German flag on the roof. Here's the base. We didn't do anything except detail the grill in the front. That looks great. Windshield looks great. Interior looks good. We're not going to do anything with that. Let's put it all together and have our reveal. And here's how it turned out. That is absolutely cool. And we did the detail on it. This looks fantastic. What a great build this turned out to be using nothing but decals. Now the lights, I did those with a paint pen. A nice fine paint pen. Same thing with the grill. Did those with a paint pen. Again, you can build a beautiful car with just decals. So you can check out KennyTerry.com. He can make decals for you. And there's a lot of other guys on eBay that sell decals too. Like Second Chance Redlines. Vince Scott does beautiful, beautiful work at Second Chance Redlines. Or if you happen to find some other folks on eBay or wherever that sell decals, just make sure you're getting the ones that fit the vehicle that you're going to be putting together. That's fantastic. I am so happy with this build and I'm loving it. Join the team. You'll help the channel by helping me get the supplies that I need to keep the YouTube channel going. Now what you receive in exchange. You'll see videos at least a day or more in advance, sometimes sooner. You'll get personal advice from me about your own diecast hobby. I'll be available for video one-on-one -on -one help if necessary. There'll be prize drawings once a month. You'll get exclusive custom offers only available to members and many, many more offers. Now I'd like to take this time to thank my current Patreon subscribers. Grim Reaper Level, Mr. William K7 Robinson and Mr. Dale Johnson. Mortician Level, Jake Rademacher, Ray Berger, Air Warrior Coffee Company, Ricky Montalvo, Jason Warren, and Sam Pascal. Thank you guys so much. Double B's Customs, check out his YouTube page. Diecast Sheriff, check out his YouTube page. Really, really fantastic builders. Dave Christensen and Ryan Goldstein. Gravedigger Level, Aaron Murphy, Leroy, Andrew Hitchens, John Sellers, check out his YouTube page. Bob DeNice, Les Jenkins, Trevor DeViz, Grizz Flowers, Chris Decker, Keith Kripe, Johnny Hicks and his son William, Stacy Wright, Richie Ramos, Michael Oxley, and John Holman. Check out the Big Paw Garage YouTube page. Paul Bearer Level, Gary Tasker, and Daryl Begtel. First Driver Level, Jim Silva, check out his YouTube page. Richard at Michio Woods Garage on Facebook. He sells a lot of Hot Wheels, and if you're looking for something, he's the one you need to check out. Ronald Raby, Tony Hughes over in the UK, Wade Hendricks, Steve Terrence, The Diecast Pirate, Pin Tony, Scott Turner, Pete Langford, Joe Pierce, and by accident, I left them out last time, and I apologize, Adam Bowen and Richard Reese. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Join the team today. The link is in the comments section on how to become a Patreon member. I sure could use your help and it'll keep these videos coming. I want to thank you for joining me for the Four Horsemen build. And this was a lot of fun today. Please make sure that you check out the links in the comments section and check out the guy's other builds. Now again, There'll be a video up here in the near future. We're going to start having subscribers to the channels be involved with the builds, just like the three blind mice builds. And it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're, we're looking so forward to it. But this is Paul for the Four Horsemen representing Diecast Graveyard. Thank you so much for joining me today. And like I said, there'll be an announcement coming soon here so you folks can participate in these builds also. Prost.